Hey, we're getting ready for uh, a Jubilee tea party. There's a couple of little things that are niggling me. So, uh, I'm getting a few more, a few more, bit more bunting up and uh, you know, a few flags here and there. Proud to be English, proud to be part of the United Kingdom. Right, first things first, get some beers in the fridge. A few, a couple of hours to go, yeah. Uh, I did explain I had my Jubilee Ale. And as I'm going to Greece for my holidays, I thought I would uh, get in training and have some Mythos Greek, Hellenic Greek beer. I had two last night, to be honest. Right, and we have another issue. I want to show you that in a second. Prosecco, rosy wine, gin and tonics, beers in the fridge. All the party food. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Next problem. There's an, an inherent design for in this bunting, as you can tell. And I aim to sort that out. Well, you'll notice I don't have that problem there. That's because I've taken a hot glue gun and I've uh, glued them into place. But this inherent design fault is this. It's got two holes in it. And it curls up like that as well. And it ends up like that, and then they all, and then that acts like a sail, and they all blow down to one side. So I think the answer to that is to place another hole in the middle, so it goes in, out, in, out, shake it all about. That's my plan. That's my theory. All this for just one day. Right, so first of all, I'm going to need a tidy bench. So, uh, I've been <laughs> rather unsuccessfully. Uh, I got there in the end, trying to find a way of uh, getting the copper out of these heat exchanger, rad uh, air conditioning heat exchanger radiators. I I I'm winning. But it's it's painful. Well, that's another video, right? I've got a tidy-ish bench. What do we need? A piece of wood. We need that. And we need another hole there. Put them all together. Drill through it. Don't know what I really need. Is a hole punch. Right. It would not surprise you. Nope. I guess it wouldn't surprise you at all. To know that in here I've got a leather belt hole punch somewhere in here. I have a roughly eight places where I know it could be. But no, I ain't searching for it, so I don't have I do have an hole punch, but it's way too big, isn't it? About that big. It's the quickest thing to do is make me own. So, on my knees yet again, down here, because I don't throw much, much away, I've got three drawers that are full of bars and tubes. Oh, steel to, oh, what was that? So I've got to find a thin, thin wall steel tube, and then we'll just sharpen the end of it, and... Uh, In the okie doke, seems that this wasn't this. This was like solid bar uh, drawer, all printer bars mainly. But there was a few tubes in, so got one here, and as you can see, pretty much the right size. So all I've got to do is so overkill this, you know, just shirt them the end of that up. Now, I could do it another way. I can take some solid bar of the right dimension 
and I could just put a concave in it. So the edge will be sharp to be a concave and that would punch out a disc. Uh, but what about using this? Look at this for a, ne a, a needle. That's a hell of a needle that, isn't it? We're playing. But then again, that's what easy, lazy Saturdays are for, playing. To be quite honest, it took a lot longer to film this than it is to do the job. So we got a smelly bolt. We cut, cut it down a little bit, banged it in one end. That gives me something to hit on. In the end, I've just, it's stainless steel, but I've cut on a bit of a chamfer. And uh, let's see if it works. I've chosen an appropriate hammer. Right, just got to go in the in the middle of that, I think. Uh, and a perfect hole. That allows me now to go in, down, in, and out. Right, jobs are good. Can I do two at once? Yeah, okay. Tell, tell it, I'll be a second. Indeed, I can do two at once. All right, let's talk this gentleman about the car. So there we go. The bunting now shouldn't ride up and down because it's now got three holes in. Could have actually put four holes in and weaved it but hey the spread oh the spread's coming on I can smell garlic prawns and um, the glasses are coming out oh we've got some Japanese Japanese Roku gin nice I need to put I need to put a bottle of whiskey out here I think right ladies and gents Ian's had enough. It's time to sit down. I'll just sample a little of this. Uh, the Brasserie Imported Premium Lager. The May of the Garden. And just wait for the guest to arrive. And then a big feed. So Ian in his shed. I'm not in my shed. Ian in his garden. See you all later. I thought I'd also like to show you the fruits of me yesterday's labour. There we go. As, as, as I said, next door neighbours had knocked the wall down. I pinched some of the bricks. Uh, hey, it's not that one. <laughs> it is. That's Pete. Uh, I haven't gone to the no problem of that. stitching it in or anything. No wrong, no wrong with that. Well, it could give me a few more plants in. Pete, uh, Pete's a bricky. <laughs> uh, he was looking at it and he's going, ah, it's a quarter of an inch drop on that. You can see it from over there across the street. Anyway, I need uh, another couple of plants in between. But it was a spur of the moment job. I thought, something I've thought about doing and uh, never did. But the materials were there. I had the time done. And I don't think it looks too bad. I know, I know, I really should have, uh, you know, keyed it in. But it's, it's just a little retaining wall for some plants. Alright, back to me bunting. So the clan's all here, my daughter, <laughs> Mel, my son, Kathy, my wife, doggies. and doggies. Betty, so she's doggy. We'll have you on a, a grill in a little bit. <laughs> and then we've got. We've got, we've got, we've got, got Olive. We've got Olive. And Bonnie. He's always got a tongue out, but not this time. And, and Bonnie. One eyed Ollie. Bonnie. Bonnie. So there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I've not got nothing. 
Yeah. We'll see that off with the chin and tonic. And uh, the weather's nice enough. Right, Ian in his garden. Happy, what is it? Platy, Pla Happy Platy Dubes. Happy Platy Dubes. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, 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 come on then. So, I know it must actually be as good as it says he is. <laughs> so, this show I've got now is as soon as I sign with the rubbers and how I'm going to be searching for a white and salmon, I've got a job. Oh, look at that table. Bonnie. Betty. Yeah. And then eventually Betty. someone came and said, well, now you're bored, Betty. What's she doing? Oh, she's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> we came back to land. They did it with us. Um, we got on the plane. We went and then we I were separate. I see. That bad moon arising. And then we had to stop in Bulgaria. I see. Trouble on the way. I was surprised I quit that one. We were only on the ground in Bulgaria. I see. Yeah, we were waiting longer in Manchester. <laughs> I thought, I thought for a medical thing like that, we were on the ground for hours. Yeah. I mean, I've just seen you, Holiday Bugger, yeah. Don't go around tonight. Yeah, I went a couple of years ago. Yeah, really, really hard. What, did you know when Sunny B? Yeah. Cartwheel. Yeah. Can't remember what hotel. Yeah. 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 She's what happens when you get food out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bonnie leaves it, Betty leaves it. Bonnie might not. You can give her some, but she might. No, she's fine. Are you just going to sit and eat all that? He's not, I'm going to come and take one off him. Just a minute, you never know. Just a minute, you never know. What's that one? Boom! And the piece de resistance. On corgi cake with a crown. <laughs> Go on, cut his head off. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Hey? Oh, another one. I haven't got anything. Don't trust that. Cheers, folks. So the end of the day is coming along. I'm saying the end of the day, you can see it's still bright light, but it stays light till 10 p.m. now, and you can see from the clock. It's, uh, it's gone 8, it's gone 8 p.m. Not quite worse for wor. Still, still a bit of life left in the old dog yet. But, brothers, what happens with like buffets? I get a chance to eat the leftovers. Some stinky blue cheese. Apparently, there's only me that eat, who eats that. Uh, uh, and then I'm going to have a choice here now for afterwards. It's got to be this five year old malt chocolate. Or my daughter has just come back from Bratislava in Slovakia and she brought me back some, how do you say that? Slivovic. Slivovic. Slivovic? Sly of ice, sly of ice, sly of ice, I don't know. Anyway, got some plum brandy, so bit of a choice there for after I get to eat the leftovers. I'm the iPad up, I think I'm going to be set up for watching uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Or I may, I may just read, I'm reading this at the moment. It is what it is. It's uh, it's a German version of the the Russian invasion, right? Ladies and gents, Ian in his kitchen saying good night. Happy Jubilee.